Hi everyone! Today I'm going to do a wet on wet fast watercolor painting of a gourd. Some nice yellow or orange. This is almost too vibrant so I think I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of yellow here. I'm trying to paint very very quickly. And the colors are just a little bit too saturated on this far edge here. That's all right. I'm just gonna pull some nice yellow up into the top here to cut some of that color that I'm getting. Throw in some highlights. Getting a little splattery too, but I'm actually okay with that as well. A little tip there. I really like these white spaces, so I don't necessarily want to lose those, but I do want just a bit more yellow up here. I'm gonna pull some of this more vibrant orange out and I'm just gonna drop in some more yellow. There's not too much yellow in the pumpkin, but I want a lot of contrast here. And of course, yellow is a part of orange. Now I have this beautiful cadmium red that just really takes off. Look at that take off, it's just amazing. So I don't wanna overdo it because it does move so, so well, but I do just wanna add a little bit of that in where some of the shadows are. So being very, very like kind of quick with my strokes so that they don't get to be too like drippy, but uh, I really do want to pull some of that in. All right, now we have to get a little bit of our brown in there too. Right now it's feeling just a little bit too vibrant in terms of the colors. So again, I'm going to be very quick with my strokes. I don't want it to be kind of too overwhelming. I still want and still I'm gonna do this whole thing wet on wet. Uh, so I'm looking to capture the essence of this gourd, not necessarily a realistic representation of it, but I do want to capture the essence of it. I'm gonna just kind of pull a little bit more, maybe like a brownish orange in here. There we go. I just feel like it's getting a little bit too bright. So dull some of this down a bit. I can always lift color if I need to. There we go, I like that. Well, some of these are getting a little bit, a little bit more kind of aggressive looking. I wish it was just a hint more dry because um, I do want to add my green, um, but I'm okay with it being a little wet. So let's just add our green and see what happens. So I have this really, really nice green. Now I don't want too much water in it. So I've kind of been taking it off my brush. I've done this whole painting so far, by the way, with a number 10 round. So you can see the green moving, but I'm just dabbing it in. The green is an accent. You can see it just taking off here. So I don't want the green to be too blendy. I kind of want it to hold its own. Again, I'm gonna move quickly. I'm just gonna add a little teeny weeny spots of green as I go. Now there's some beautiful green along the outside edge. So I think I will run it along the edge there. A little tiny bit in here. And just touching, just barely touching, just barely touching it. Here we go. So that's expanding out because everything is wet. It's all very wet, actually. Um, again, I would probably, in a, if I were doing a really like more thoughtful, slow painting, I absolutely would be waiting for this to dry just a bit more. But I am challenging myself to do this whole thing while it's very wet on wet. So what should happen here? is it's going to um, it's going to make this a little bit more kind of abstract than my paintings usually are. And there's something nice about that. So there's a few places here where the paint is starting to pool a bit. I'm gonna lift, lift some water here with a clean brush, lift some of this paint. This is another way to take back a little bit of control. There's a few highlight areas that are starting to get a little muddy. So I'm just gonna pull some of this out Pull that little highlight area there and pull this there. So I'm starting to get a little bit of the form back. Now form is the kind of three-dimensional quality of your object. So the shape of this pumpkin is, you know, kind of this, this messy oval, but the form is the lighting and the shadow. The form is what creates depth. All right, you know, I actually really like that now. Now I'm gonna pull a little bit out of the bottom. So I'm just cleaning my brush as I go and I'm, and I'm pulling a little bit of pigment off 
I have an area here that almost has a highlight to it. So another thing I could do is I could actually pull a little bit of yellow into there and the yellow should kind of push, should kind of push some of the brown. So I'm going to throw a little bit in there. There it goes. So I'm just going to create a little bit of highlight using a bit of this yellow. There we go. Just pushing away a little bit of the, a little bit of the brown. Create some texture, right? A little bit of texture in there. Okay. Now right here, it is quite uh, both dark and light. So I don't want to get too aggressive with it. But I do want to add a little bit of darkness there. So I think I'm going to go in with, believe it or not, my Payne's Gray. Favorite color. Love my Payne's Gray. And in a few places, I'm going to add some really nice dark areas. And eventually, I'm going to add a little bit there. But I want it to dry just a hint. So I'm just going to dab it down here. Just in a few places here. Some of these greens almost look black. All right, so now I have a little bit of that here. I have this shadow that I do want to call out right there. I also have the shadow at the base of the pumpkin, which I probably should start to address um, shortly here as well. Right down here, I think I need a little bit more wet. Wet on wet, it's feeling a little bit too open. And I kind of like that. All right. Just doing an evaluation here. Maybe I'll go in with a little bit more of this orange. And I don't want to go too overboard. A little bit of green. My green is starting to dry and it's been kind of bleeding into the rest of it. So I can't think I can add a little bit more now. And my, my green is very potent. There's just a little bit up in there. Oh, look at that take off. I love watercolor painting. It's just so, so relaxing. To just watch paint move. I don't know. I could watch paint move all day. And if you're watching this, you probably could too. Because <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing. We're just watching paint move. And I find it so incredibly relaxing. All right, I actually think we're capturing the essence of this in a really nice way. Is it messy? Yes, it is messy. Is that okay? Absolutely. Absolutely, it's okay. Add a little more orange into that space. Maybe some of the orange can, again, just push out a little bit of what's happening down there. Just get a little bit more controlled. Now, love these white spots. Don't want to mess with that. I am going to drop in a shadow. The risk is my shadow could kind of interfere with my pumpkin. So... I'm gonna give it a little bit of space, at least for now. I have multiple shadows. I'm just gonna focus on a single shadow. So you can see I'm giving it space. I don't really want to give it space, but right now everything is just a little bit too wet. So I'm just going to give it, I'm going to give it as little space as I can. So I'm gonna creep right in there and see if I can't Uh, you know, if it touches in a few places, I think it's okay. It's actually starting to dry along this base edge. So maybe I will just go ahead and do that. There we go. All right. So that was fast. I think it looks really nice. I'm really happy with this. Thank you for hanging out, painting with me today. Really quick little, uh, little gourd painting just in time for fall here. I'll give it a quick signature and uh, that's that. Thanks. See you soon.